Alright, so if you didn't already know, I'm going to be uploading twice a day from now on, once at 10.30 a.m. and once at 5 p.m., both central time. In the morning, we're going to be doing a live commentary or a pre-recorded commentary. The live commentary is going to be about the gameplay. The pre-recorded one will just have gameplay in the background and we'll cover various topics that don't really fit into the afternoon video. In the afternoon, it's going to be the normal guide style and the Kami Project videos and then whatever series comes afterwards. So if you enjoyed today's video or any of the ones that you've seen in the past, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Alright, so now that I have a character with a DP, um, something like this becomes a possibility, right? Now, before I started playing character with the DP, I thought that you had to do this. I thought you had to do... The DP motion and then do two quarter circles while you're in the air. And that is not the case at all. Let me show you why. Look at my inputs here. Did you see that? The second one is just one quarter circle. And that's because this first DP counts as a quarter circle. So this is a quarter circle and then you just put in one more uh, as the DP hits and cancel into super. It's very easy. It looks hard from the outside, but when you try it in training mode, it's pretty easy. This also works for moves that are special cancelable um, off of a quarter circle. So let me show you what I mean. So we can do spiral arrow into super. And you can see it's the exact same principle, right? It's quarter circle forward. The first one comes from the spiral arrow and it stores that input. And then the second one just comes from you doing a raw quarter circle forward and then a kick or whatever it is. Now let me show you it on Ryu so we can get a true dragon punch input as well as doing it off of a fireball. Alright, so the same principle applies. The first quarter circle comes from the DP, and the second one just comes from you putting in another quarter circle. Let's try it. You can see there in the input history uh, how it works. Now let's try it off of a fireball. It's as easy as that. It's just a fireball, that's your first quarter circle, and then just do another quarter circle and your punches. Now let's try it one more time, but this time on Seth, because I think his DP looks a little bit different from everybody else's, because it's like his whole body. And yeah, it still works. It's DP, first input, and then your second input, just your quarter circle again. And you're probably not going to see raw DP into super in neutral. It'll probably look something like this. As a combo ender. Or off of a successful DP anti-air like this. You have to be a little careful though because some supers aren't going to pull them down into the orb like Seth's does. Um, so make sure that you hit it in the right spot for your character to cancel into super. If you're looking to anti-air into super, just make sure that you hit them at the right height. Something like this. On Seth, it's a little more lenient because you could hit them pretty high on his head because he, it's his entire body pretty much. Um, and it'll pull them down into his orb like a vortex. But on some characters like Kami, uh, you have to hit them at a certain height. It's not super strict, but it's just something to think about. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And if you did, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.